Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I've just been reminded by my colleague that I've been talking away and haven't started the broadcast, so I do apologise for being a few minutes late. Um, hopefully, you can all hear me. And uh, just to welcome you to this session where we're going to talk through our, our new product, Ready for Social Care. I'm joined today by my colleague, Geraldine Donworth. Geraldine, you want to say hello? Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Thanks very much, Geraldine. Um, so we won't keep you very long. It's quite um, a, a short deck, but please do make sure you do ask any questions that you might have and um, you know, put your hand up or pop your questions into the, the chat or the questions pane that you should see on your screen. Um, so just to sort of start, um, we're going to talk about the Ready for Social Care product. Uh, that Celine Gills has just launched, trying to get my buttons to work here, bear with me. Um, so the Ready for Social Care product is a, a digital course designed for adults age 19 as well, about three to four hours long. Um, so really it's designed to um, give uh, the, the user an insight into what it is to work within social care, the things, the jobs and opportunities that it might um, provide um, and how trying to motivate learners to get interested and, and invested in their studies and, and build a career towards working within social care and progressing within social care. Um, the content is um, really designed to um, showcase all that's great about working in social care, but to be open and honest and transparent about some of the areas of the work that can be challenging, um, but generally to sort of share the experiences from some employers' perspectives and, and some things that um, learners might find useful um, before they start applying for, for jobs and opportunities. So as I said, uh, designed for adults, 19 plus, three to four hours. Uh, very timely, this particular product, given the challenges that we're facing in social care right across the UK in terms of recruitment and retention. Uh, no need to rehearse all of the reasons for that, I'm sure you're very aware. Um, but, um, you know, social care remains a, a really rewarding career in which there are progression opportunities. And so we hope that uh, this uh, Ready for Social Care product will help interested individuals recognise um, those transferable skills that they do have um, and that um, engaging in a career in social care can be very rewarding and there absolutely is a career framework that can be followed. Um, to um, <clears throat> when, you, when learners are doing, or interested individuals rather than learners, I should say, um, are completing the um, the course, they if they get to the end and, and do some reflections and, and um, show sort of an involvement and an interest in, in what they've been hearing about, then uh, they can uh, be awarded a digital credential or a digital badge um, just to recognise the learning journey that they've been on and uh, the digital badge is displayed there on the screen. So um, we would encourage anybody that holds one of our digital badges, which we do issue uh, for um, our qualifications and learners that complete apprenticeships with us, um, that they showcase those digital badges um, on their social media and perhaps in their email signatures. Um, so it's a really good, useful tool to help other people um, recognize and be aware of the, the learning and the skills that have been attained. So there is a Ready for Social Care digital badge it is as illustrated on the screen and we're very excited to see um, individuals progress through this um, online digital learning course and be awarded that digital badge. So the Ready for Social Care product um, is fundable um, under the areas that are the funding streams that are described on the screen or highlighted on the screen. So the adult education budget, the restart program, uh, the, the JETS program, different various programs that are funded through the European Social Fund while it's still with us, and then the sector-based academies. Um, and so there's quite a broad array of, of potential funding opportunities that are available um, should you want to offer this product to um, learners or individuals that you're supporting. Um, and our business managers will be able to give you some more information uh, about that aspect. And I've lost my cursor. There we go. 
So I just want to give an opportunity to give you some insight into what the Ready for Social Care um, course is all about. And I'm hoping that this video is going to play for me, so fingers crossed. Ready for Social Care. Making difference. Being part of a diverse community. Becoming a highly skilled professional. If this inspires you, social care could be the perfect choice for you. Ready for Social Care. A brand new course from City Builds to help you discover the opportunities social care has to offer. You will hear from employers why working in social care is one of the most rewarding careers you can ever choose, and find out how to get started in the sector. On completion of the course, you will earn a digital credential, which you can share on social media and add to your CV to show employers your achievements and that you want to make a difference to someone's life every single day. Ready for Social Care by City and Guilds. Available now. Okay, so that was just a, a very brief introduction to the um, sort of the vision for the Social Care course, but what I'm going to do now is walk you through um, in a little bit more detail. Um, so, the course is spread out into um, really nine areas that sort of is top and tailed with a, a, a bit of an introduction, a welcome orientation facet. And then there are five chapters that uh, learners uh, work through, or five themes. Um, and then to finish off, there is a, an opportunity for them to do some reflection um, and um, then look at um, potential opportunities for them moving forward. Um, so in terms of, of a welcome, uh, not very long, 10 or 15 minutes, really sort of seeking to get them into the right headspace. Um, and of course, learners can dip in and out, they don't have to do the, the, the whole time all in a one -er. um, and you know they can go at their own pace. Um, the content is um, sort of punctuated by uh, videos and comments from the employer group that we worked with. Um, and you know we, we were hopeful and we think we've achieved um, a really good um, video engagement piece that allows individuals to sort of learn from the experience of others and to get a really good strong sense of, of what social care is all about. So uh, in terms of the overview then and the topics that um, are, are covered off, so the welcome as I say 10 minutes long and then there's a series of topics, five in total, each 30 minutes long, um, and it really builds incrementally through the journey. So the first topic is about, um, you know, what is this thing that we call social care, um, and you know, what does it mean to um, to the people that access services? What does it mean to those that provide services, and what might it mean to you? Um, and then topic two is then all about the individual. You know, what is it that makes that individual tick? What are their values? Their strengths? You know, what is it that they think they um, might want to do in terms of social care? What aspects of social care would be of interest to them? And where do they think their skills are, are best placed? Topic three then sort of builds on that again and starts introducing uh, the user to potential jobs uh, that um, are, are part of social care. It's not just focusing on the, the direct care aspects. Um, um, the roles that are, are around providing direct care to individuals, but also those roles that perhaps aren't overly known about, you know, roles within um, HR, roles within a state, um, you know, sort of looking after the grounds, all of those sorts of things um, are part of uh, this exploration of, of jobs and also looking at the progression opportunities. So recognizing that actually, um, you know, you can start um, as um, someone that works in a support role, but there are opportunities for you to progress on up into management, and, and also um, recognizing that in some instances, uh, you may leave face-to-face -face practice and, and start being involved in teaching and assessing um, of the next generation of, of care workers. So that's topic three, and each of these topics, as I said, are about 30 minutes long. Um, topic four then is looking at those essential things that you might need, so um, the behaviours, the skills, uh, the values that, that underpin the, the, the work that we do within social care. And then topic five is looking at um, how do you go about finding um, work within social care and it would look at C 
CVs, it would look at the new interview techniques, um, all of those sorts of things that would be valuable to you if you were looking for employment within the sector. Um, and then the final two sec sections are um, each 20 minutes and uh, the first one of those is about reflection. So what have you learned? How can you apply that learning? You know, are you still interested? Is there still something that you would be wanting to pursue as a career? And, and what might your next steps be? And then the final bit then is signposting the individual to actual real life job opportunities. Um, and, and there's a, a range of um, different employers that have helped support us to um, create uh, those opportunities and signpost learners to real life opportunities out there in the in the sector. Um, so the content is punctuated, as I said, with uh, feature videos and clips from employers. Um, and employers are talking directly to those that are engaging in the um, the course, um, so that it becomes quite interactive um, and you know that it's, it's really interesting content. Um, based on some interactive tasks and of course that reflective activity that I referred to earlier. So a little bit more information and a short clip for you here, all about uh, topic one, which is you know, what is this thing that we call social care? Um, part of this uh, particular segment would be uh, 10 things that we think everybody needs to know um, to help people start thinking about whether working in social care is something that is attractive to them and that they think that they would be good at and, and bring value to. Critical care is an essential part of our lives. There are millions of people receiving and providing care in the UK every day. It is all around us, in all of our communities. So what is social care? Social care is about supporting children, young people and adults who need assistance with their day-to-day -day living. This could be because of illness, disability, age, or because they need to be protected from any type of harm. Over 1.4 million people work in social care in the UK and 13.6 million provide unpaid care. It is one of the largest sectors and the number of jobs is growing every year. But social care is much more than a job. It's one of the most rewarding and enriching careers you can choose. Whether you work in a hands-on care role, care administration or support services, you will change lives, and it will change your life too. You will develop lasting friendships with colleagues, peers, and the individuals you provide care for, as well as their families. You will make a difference to your local community, and be inspired every day by seeing how the job you do helps others. You will be able to use your existing skills and develop new ones in your day-to-day -day work to become a highly skilled professional. So, if you're willing to learn and looking for a rewarding career in a sector which offers great progression opportunities, social care could be the perfect choice for you. Inspire and be inspired. Work in social care. Powerful stuff indeed. So that's just a real flavour of, of some of the, the content and, and video coverage that we have within topic one. Topic two then is about the, the individual. Um, so it, it's really reflective. It's getting an individual to think about themselves, the skills and values and behaviours that they have and that employers uh, may be looking for. Um, and helping them to recognize those transferable skills, but also um, asking quite challenging questions on occasion about values and, and behavior, um, and, and those values and behaviors that are central to the work that we do within social care. Uh, but recognizing that sometimes you might have uh, behaviors and skills that you um, have cultivated elsewhere, but that are, are very transferable into the sector. And, and are useful to different parts of the sector. Um, so it's very good 
um, topic area for that self-reflection um, and, and really hones down on, on the 10 core skills, values, and behaviors that, that employers are looking for. And with arms of that knowledge, then individuals are much more best placed to um, finesse their CV and to, to prepare really for those opportunities that they might learn about later. So job three is about, oh sorry, topic three I should say, is about jobs and professional progression, as I said earlier. Um, and uh, we have a feature video to show you just in a minute that talks about the different job roles, uh, work settings and progression opportunities um, that the, the individual will then um, be able to explore um, and start thinking about in, in terms of um, how they resonate with uh, their ambitions, uh, their skills and their, their um, values. The world of social care. Social care is one of the fastest growing sectors in the UK and there will be half a million new jobs available by 2030. Working in social care is one of the most rewarding jobs you can ever do. Every day you will help someone live in the way they choose to. Social care gives you the opportunity to find the job you love and be part of a passionate community in one of the most diverse and exciting sectors. So where could you work in social care? You could provide care for those who need support. You could support someone at home, in a care or nursing home, or in the community. You could work with children, young people, or adults. You could work with people with complex needs or with those who need mental health support. You could invite someone to live with you. You could work in care administration, telecare, marketing, or human resources. You could also work in hospitality, maintenance, or transport services. You could progress into management or education. The opportunities are endless, and the choice is yours. Regardless of where you choose to work, one thing is guaranteed. You will change lives. Find the job that inspires you. Work in social care. I think that we probably can all agree that over the last two years and moving forward, given what's happening in the world currently, that um, the demand for social care services is going to increase further. Um, and it is one of the largest employers um, in the UK. Um, so, you know, that there is going to be some investment in, in social care and social care training moving forward. Um, and so this is a perfect opportunity to um, have a product like this that will help sort of evidence and, and show individuals perhaps interested in, in a career in social care what it uh, can offer and what would be involved in, in becoming a social care support worker or um, a social care a manager within social care. Um, so, you know, hopefully the, the video clips will help to do that and help it come to life for individuals. We believe so and, and the employers that we worked with to create uh, the content um, were, were very pleased with, with the outcome of some of those videos of, of which of course they were involved. So topic four then is, is getting down to the nitty gritty now, it's starting to sort of look at, at the, the real life situation, you know, those roles and responsibilities uh, that um, are part of working within social care um, and the legislative and, and regulatory framework that um, practitioners need to work within. Um, and also the reasons for uh, certain things to be in place, um, safeguarding and health and safety. But not only that, it's about recognising that um, whilst it can be really, really good fun and very, very rewarding working in social care, it can be quite stressful as well and challenging on occasion. And so having the, um, the skills to recognise um, your own well-being and look after your own well-being and recognise the stresses uh, to achieve good work-life balance is important things that, that we need all practitioners to be aware of. Um, and the sooner we start talking about that to, to potential employees within the sector, uh, the better it is for everybody. So we do touch on those things uh, within this particular topic area. Um, and we do ask some challenging questions um, about the individual and we get people to reflect 
um, on their own um, strengths and areas for development um, and thinking about um, their own well-being and how they might achieve that work-life balance. So it's a very um, sort of intricate sector, topic area, this one, um, but very, very essential and hence its title. Um, so then once uh, they've climbed that journey then, uh, topic five is the last topic area and it um, invites them to get ready to um, start looking for work if that's what they want to do. Um, if they feel that coming through the last of the earlier four topics is still helping them feel reassured that this is something that they really want to do. Um, and then this particular topic area looks at that in more detail um, and gives um, another 10 tips for um, being able to search for jobs. And those tips have come directly from employers um, so that um, you know, the individuals can be confident that actually they're, that they're going to be worthwhile to implement um, and that they're, they're fairly tried and tested. Um, so once uh, the scene is set in, in terms of uh, job searching and how do you go about finding work within social care and things that you need to think about, then it's a perfect opportunity then to move on to the concluding areas of the, um, the course, which is about reflection um, and um, thinking about what your next steps might be. Um, and sort of at the end of each topic, we sort of build to this point where we ask core questions that, that help individuals start that reflective journey and start thinking about um, the impact that they can have um, if they do become a social care uh, worker. Um, and so it sort of builds incrementally right through all of the, the tasks and then culminates then into a really solid piece of reflection um, toward the end. Um, and so the reflective piece then, or reflective activity, um, asks the learner to reflect on whether they have the 15 attributes, behaviours and skills that employers are looking for. And of course, there's a nod there to the care certificate. Um, and then they are able then to download a report uh, which showcases those results. Um, and that report can be used for a number of different things. You know, it can help to uh, them to identify maybe what development areas that they have, which areas they might need to want to do a little bit more work on. It might um, help them to recognize that they do have um, a great amount of, of transferable skills that are very well sought after by employers. Um, but, you know, it's designed to help build their confidence and help them um, support, give them some support about their next steps. So once they come to this point and they've done uh, their reflection and then this is um, able to be um, acknowledged and recognized by the digital badge that I referred to earlier. Um, our digital badges are um, developed and supported uh, with the Credly organization and you can see that there's a link on the screen there to take you to more information about that. Uh, when a learner um, achieves a digital badge, um, then they can share it through their social media channels, on their CV, in their emails. Um, it's a really, really powerful tool. Um, and uh, there'll be an icon um, or a badge that, that can be clicked on by uh, another person. And when that happens, that person will be uh, get to, to this page, which tells them all of the things that the individual had to do to gain the digital badge what the earning criteria were, the skills that they developed, and, and a bit of a summary as to, to what they've achieved. So it's a very, very useful and powerful tool. Uh, for the individual who's gained the digital badge, however, once they do that, uh, they will have access to other um, skills, or sorry, other resources, I should say, rather than skills. Um, and those two are now um, identified or illustrated on the screen. So they'll get some insights um, into um, job opportunities and, and locations of those opportunities and different um, salaries and skills, excuse me. <coughs> and then that progresses on then to um, real life job opportunities that are actually current at the time that they're looking. Um, and they will be able then to click the hyperlinks on that page that will take them directly to the employer's website so that they can um, either find out more information about that opportunity or in fact do an online application. Um, and in some instances, we do know of individuals that have gained digital badge similar to this, um, that um, you know, it connects them directly to the employer and sometimes it, it's possible to have 
um, conversations with that employer then about um, the potential job opportunities and, and the skills that the individual can bring with them. Um, and sometimes that's quite a powerful conversation. So it does unlock um, lots of different opportunities and real life job um, opportunities especially. So you can see that on the, the related jobs page, we do um, ha have uh, information around um, salary scales and uh, whether the, the um, where the job is from a geographical perspective, and, and it's real life information. And so sometimes um, you know, the opportunity has already been filled, and it gets, the learner is going onto that page before it has has updated. Um, but it, it's a live, active uh, landing page that has a real life job opportunities display. So it's a very, very powerful tool, and we hope that it will bring the individual closer to those opportunities and take the pain out of to a certain extent of them having to, to um, sort of review and look for opportunities on their own. Okay. Um, and so the uh, Ready for Social Care pricing structure is based on a licenses um, and um, we've packaged licenses together as displayed on the screen. So if there's something that you are interested in, the licenses um, do last for a year. Um, and so you can speak to your business managers um, to get more information about that. But also following today's session, uh, you will get a follow on email that, that will have um, further information within it um, and, and links to the, the presentation deck as well. So that you will have access to this information on screen. Um, if you can't wait and really want to find out more information, then uh, you can go directly to the Wall Garden or you can contact us on the um, email and telephone numbers that are dis displayed on the screen. Um, and our colleagues would be delighted to, to have a further conversation with you. Um, we're very excited about this project. We think it is well positioned and, and very timely, uh, given that all of the challenges the social care sector is facing at the moment. And, and we know that um, we do have to build our workforce um, in order to meet those challenges coming down the line. So that's the end of uh, the formal presentation for today. Uh, but we are very, very happy to take questions if, if you have any. Just opening my question pane. Doesn't seem to be any questions there at the moment. Do pop your hand up if if you do have a question. Okay, I see a question coming in. I'm just trying to access it. Bear with me. Okay, does the license mean one per candidate completing the course? Uh, does does the licenses mean one per candidate in the course? No, Emma, you can um, you can buy licenses for a collective. Um, I think the minimum number of licenses you can buy is ten. I hope that that answers your question, Emma. Yeah, if I can just, as Geraldine, if I can, if I can just add to that, I think um, if you have ten learners, you'd need ten licenses. So I think that perhaps is what the question means. Is that right? Um, yeah. Thanks, so, Emma. Yeah. Sorry, just to interrupt you there, Susie. No, that's um, fine, Jody. Thank you for that. I was just going to ask people what do they think of the product? There's so few of us I think we can unmute people mm -hmm. if they want to if they want to just to make a comment. I'm just trying to see how I do that, Jardine. I've lost that view on the screen. Oh, here we are. Someone says it's um I can't see who it is. <laughs> good to good to give someone um with experience. 
I think I mean I think the purpose of the product is to is to support those individuals who perhaps might have an inkling that they'd quite like to work with people and maybe working in care is one of those options for them so if you were supporting a number of individuals um, around an employability program or a getting back into work program then that would be where it would be really uh, a really good useful tool to use Yes, Emma's just saying here, it's good to give someone experience to know where to go for, um, in their career pathway. Absolutely, Emma, yeah. it is. I mean, one of the things that that, um, that we experienced, Geraldine, isn't it, that you know, there's the concept that there isn't uh, progression opportunities within care, and, and we know that there are. I mean, we have qualifications from level one to level five, um, the evidence of that progression. So it, it, it's good to have something that sort of showcases that. Kim, you've got your hand up. I've unmuted you. Want to talk? Yeah. Hi, Susie. Um, really sorry, I was very late at this student crisis, so I missed most of that. But what the, the end bit that I've seen um, looks really interesting. Um, the the slides and and the information is is that going to come out or is that uh, available somewhere so I can go back and have a look at the rest? Yes, absolutely. It's Kim. You'll get a follow-on email. Um, and it, did you make the booking yourself, Kim? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Um, so you'll get the information via the email that you provided. Um, so it will be a PDF of the deck, and it may include a recording. I'm not sure about that, but normally what we would do is attach the recording. So, uh, but at the very least, you'll have the deck and and some further information. Brilliant. Um, apologies, you probably covered this earlier, but my, my sort of burning question is how long, what's the duration of delivery for this? Um, so it's three to four hours, but it doesn't all have to be done together. Okay. You can do it in size chunks because it's all online. Okay, brilliant. Lovely. Thank you, Susie. Pleasure. Um, Emma says, tell Kim Emma has taken notes. Of course she has. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. <laughs> that was good teamwork for you. <laughs> well done, Emma. Top brownie points for that. Um, okay, folks, so we've got no other questions. Yeah, um, we've got another, we've got another one that I can see, Susie. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's um it's it might be a follow-on question. So it's it asks, would this also guide learners to what qualifications they could do next? Oh, I so, see that now. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Do you want to take that question, Josie? Well, I can't remember what's in the course, <laughs> <laughs> but um, but I think there there is a next steps there part is. of it. What to do next? So, and I'm sure that we will have put something in the in the content about um perhaps what kind of qualification routes or apprenticeships that yeah. the um the learners might be able to access mm -hmm. we do take make a connection between the job roles and and the, the types of qualifications that will be available i don't think that we mention ours specifically um but we do we do make those connections emma and we also talk about in the sort of setting the scene and the context about um what the requirements might be um depending on where you work in the uk we talk about uh workforce regulation but just in very very um sort of headline ways but just to make it clear that you know if you work in wales for example then there are requirements around qualifications to work in social care similar um in some aspects in northern ireland and and coming in northern ireland um and then in England, it's it's a bit it's a bit less prescriptive. Okay, folks. I think that we've covered all the questions now. Apologies if I've missed another one. No, don't think so. Um, there we go. Um, okay, folks. So that's that's brought us to the end. Probably a little bit earlier than um, perhaps um, you were expecting. But if you've got no further questions, I can give you what about eleven minutes back 
in your day. Um, and so I'm sure you'll be very grateful to have those 11 back, uh, minutes back, if not just to um, make a quick cup of tea. Um, so thank you all very much for joining us this afternoon. We do hope you found it informative and we will share out some more information based on the emails, uh, addresses that you use to book your place. So have a lovely day. Keep safe and well, everybody, and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you, Susie. Thanks very much, Kim. Yeah, uh,